Hello, today I just want to share with you this look. So going for a glittery eye and then a matte red lip. I wanted the products to be affordable where I could and really long wearing. I hope you're enjoying the free Makeup Masters app. Please let me know if there's anything you want to see on it next time. But without further ado, let's get cracking. I'm wearing this Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. Wow, it's a bit of a weird colour, doesn't it? Feels nice and silky. Then this is the Ultra HD Stick, and my shade is 117, so in MAC I'm about a NC15. Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer around the eyes. I'm forever using the MAC Paint Pot so I thought I'd do something a bit different and this is the Makeup Forever Aquamatic uh, Waterproof Eye Pencil in ME50 I believe. It's like a gold shade. And I think the thing with the paint pot from MAC that gets the eyeshadow to really stay on is the fact that they're water resistant and they stop the oil coming through so I'm hoping this will do the same sort of thing and when they're in the pencil version they're quick and not so messy to apply going in with Makeup Geek Cosmopolitan eyeshadow which is similar to MAC Expensive Pink just to get a bit of gold but also a bit of warmth to it Next, Makeup Geek Coco Bear. Makeup Geek Creme Brulee eyeshadow, just to blend it out. And a little bit of Magic Act from Makeup Geek, which is one of their foiled ones. I just want to add a little bit more of a golden highlight. A liquid line would be pretty with this Ultra Glam, but I'm going to go with a pencil just because I know when I'm getting ready for any sort of festive event, it's always in a rush. So I just want something that's ultra quick and easy to do. So this is just the Rimmel Scandalize Eyeliner. And I'm doing it on the outer V, top and bottom. Going back in with a bit of more of that Coco Bear eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. Just to set it and blend it, but warm it up a little bit. As it's the festive season, I picked up two more budget glitters. One is from NYX, which does look really pretty. What's the colour? I'm not sure. It's the gold glitter one. And then this is the Collection 2000. So I... and the, Oh, Funk 3, that's a bit easier. <laughs> I think I'm going to use the Collection 2000 because it's really, really cheap. It's a good dupe for uh, like the Urban Decay glitter liners. This one was recommended to me by an amazing makeup artist I work with on The One Show. Her name's Helen, so if it's good enough for her, it's good enough for me. So I'm just applying it over the top to add a nice bit of glitter. And the nice thing about using a glitter liner is it's a lot less messy than trying to apply loose glitters because they do tend to go all down your face. And I'm just going to put a tiny bit underneath as well. Put a mascara. This one is really dried out, which I don't know whether it's because it's in a tester format that I was given. It was a Smashbox full exposure one. Lashes. I'm contouring with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick in the darker colour. So it's the 
Y505, and sorry, the lighter one was Y225. I think I read the wrong number before. But I'll just use it as a bit of a contour and as my bronzer. I wanted to do extra coverage so I'm going back in with my trusty Studio Finish Concealer from MAC. Now the glue's dried going over just roughly with the Master Precise Eyeliner from Maybelline. I'm setting it with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder. Mary Lou Manomizer from The Balm as my trusty highlight. For the blush I'm using Maybelline's Coral Fever which is a good dupe for orgasm blush from NARS. It's that gold threaded through it just to add to that glow. Comb the brows up and into place. I'm going to use NYX Eyebrow Gel in Blonde which is a good sort of waterproof product. Putting a little bit on the back of my hands and then just using an angle brush. Locking them into place with the Tamer, which is like a clear brow gel. It's actually from Asda. <laughs> it's George, so an Asda, a nice cheap one. The lip pencil is Maybelline Colour Sensational Pleasure Me Red. I think I've used quite a few Maybelline products, but I'm not sponsored. For the lipstick I'm going to use Rimmel Provocalypse in Play With Fire and it does stay on really well, the only thing you may find is it's really hard to get off at night but it does help if you put a lip liner on first because it does give it a little bit of a barrier. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and again just let me know if there's anything else you want to see on the Makeup Masters app next time.